my pretties. ThePrettyOracle.com is where you're going to be able to find the things that I have to offer you guys. Um, I'm doing a new year. By the time you see this, I don't know. But check it out and see. Um, I'm doing a bundle for you guys for the new year to bring in, you know, all the good things, right? Um, prosperity to open your roads, <clears throat> to call it protection and stuff like that. Only reason why I'm saying I don't know if it's going to be available by the time you see this is because I record my videos in advance. And uh, <clears throat> I'm only doing this while supplies last. When I run out of those particular things that you guys need, um, I won't be able to... Um, provide that anymore right okay um thank you to thanks to you guys who's donated and you know just giving my giving me back the positive energy that i'm giving to you guys i really do appreciate it um francisca i want to give you a special shout out i know i thanked you already but i mean i just thank you so much okay um i'm in awe all right. I love the fact that, you know, um, I have positive people that support me out there. OK, so. um, Oh, let's get into this shit. So um, we have the Queen of Wands. OK, but in this deck, it's public defender. Do you see that? Hold on. You can see it better now. Right. Public defender. Now, in the last read. Okay, first, but first, let me tell you about this. We have Queen of Cups, the therapist, okay, and then we have the priest, and then we have Queen of Discs, which is the matriarch, right? Now, we had all of these queens come out in the last read. So, there's, there's several things going on here. One, we found out in the last read that people in your family are um, going to either a lawyer, for some of you guys, or... Um, a voodoo priest or um a spiritualist right for some for, to do negativity okay now listen what they're doing is trying is 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 trying to um koi fish may be of significance here anyway what they're doing is trying to manipulate these people right in order to have something ne manifest negative negatively for you okay with this with these three queens here it gives me the energy of the three witches with a b the three bitches we picked them up in previous reads months ago okay <clears throat> they are they are a part of a family unit for some of you guys for others of you guys this is an ex that may be going to these people to try or it could be both okay so whatever it is there's a family unit okay um who make visits, phone calls, whatever, communicate with either a lawyer or a spiritualist or both on behalf of you. We picked up that they're lying to these people to try to either betray you in some way, steal from you, or cause some sort of negative events in your life, okay? Okay. So we want to see what it is that they done lied about. First, give me something here. Tell me about this situation. Um, the song that comes to mind is by a reggae artist called Popcon. He happens to be my favorite, but um, he talks about family. Um, and he says. Can't make them trick me and kill me. No way, you must see blood clad mud. Life are the greatest thing not. We don't let go, no, we don't love my God. He's saying, he's saying, and he even says, and my energy, them want the, they want to steal his energy. He talks about when, when I see tears, I know that they're a mon, I know that the, they're a mongoose. Like, I know they're playing games. This has to do with the last two reads that I did. Okay. Fake tears, fake apologies. He's saying, I will not let you trick me and kill me. You must be blood clot. <laughs> you must be crazy. I will never let you trick me and kill me. My life, he says, life is the greatest thing. I will not let go. I will not leave my God. Okay, and um, I think you guys need to. I'm gonna post that song on a community board. But he says, 
I know, I know, I can't say this, that word, but he basically says, I know all of the fakes and I know who's fucking real. That's what he says. I'm not going to let you trick me and kill me. You must be blood clot mod. <laughs> okay? That's what your family is trying to do for a lot of you guys. That's what your ex is trying to do. Somebody who you had a family with, they trying to trick you and kill you. Right? They must be blood clot mod. I want you to see these cards. Okay? There's a wicked ass old lady here. <laughs> I don't mean no harm, but she look half dead and she wicked. Rejection. Rejection. You have um you have left these people alone. You stopped dealing with them. This this is their problem. This is their main issue. Okay. They're feeling rejected. They don't like the fact that you're rising like the Phoenix. Okay. They don't like that. I feel like when these people like when you stop dealing with them, I feel like they 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 thought you were supposed to be left for dead. <laughs> or they thought you wasn't gonna be able to survive without them. Okay? They're feeling it. They don't like it. So because you rejected them, what they're doing is they're going to um these people and lying. What are they lying about? What are they telling these people, please, spirit? What are they lying about? What are they telling these people? What are they lying about? What are they lying about? Peace. Okay, it feels to me like they're lying and saying that you're trying to cause some sort of strife in their life. <laughs> Mind you, these people are the ones that are um, causing all the drama, okay? They're making it seem like you're trying to overpower them in some sort of way, all right? I feel like they're, trying, they're saying like you're making them feel bad. They're set for some of you guys, they saying you doing um witchcraft on them. <laughs> Yo. For some of you guys, they're saying you you're doing witchcraft on them. Mind you, mind you, these are the people that's doing the witchcraft on you. But they sitting there lying, saying you're trying to cause turmoil in their life. Okay, you're making them sad, you're taking their good luck away from them, you're taking things away from them, they're losing things, you're trying to overpower them. What else are they lying about? Now, see, this is what I don't like about certain spiritualists, right? Let me tell you this. This is why y'all don't see me doing spells for people. Because I don't got time to, to check and see if they lying or not and shit, right? Money is not, money is not all, all, all for me, okay? Um, when you are a spiritualist and you agree to do work for somebody, and especially if it's like negative work or some shit like that, you are supposed to dig in and check, okay? First of all, I wouldn't even do it. You're not going to catch me doing nothing negative to nobody because I, I just, I, I don't, I, I can't work under those conditions, right? But anyway, if, if, if you are going to do something negative to somebody and, and it's your responsibility as a spiritualist to see who you work it for, you know, what, if, they, if they're lying to you, because essentially they're trying to manipulate you too, so they're your enemy as well. You're trying to manipulate me to do some shit and you're not giving me all the information. Okay, that's basically what these people are doing. They're going around lying, saying you're disrupting their peace by using spirituality. They're going around saying you're, you're making them sad. You're trying to take things from them. You're trying to take their luck or their money away from them. You're trying to overpower them. They, they're making you seem like you're some sort of arrogant asshole. Okay, which is exactly what they are. Just because you rejected them. What else are they, what are they telling these people? What are they telling these people? Yeah, this is your family. For some of you guys, and I saw this earlier, these people do not like the fact that you're beautiful. Or they got a real, real problem with it. Sorry, y'all. I live in New York City. Um, yeah. So they're telling they're telling lies to these people. 
And, and one of the things, look at that. They're into blood magic. This is what I'm saying. So they went to somebody and basically went and told them all of these things about you. Like you're, you're into spirituality. You're doing this to them. You're doing that to them. They had somebody to try to come steal your beauty away from you. That alone lets me know that, 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 um, a person is jealous. You playing in beauty spells. Ugh, I, I wouldn't be caught dead. Like <laughs> I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just beneath me. Anyway, so yeah, they playing in this blood magic. Look at that. They went to a practitioner. What I told you, they went to this practitioner with all these sob ass stories with this superiority complex. That's what they're telling. That's what they're telling people. Like they're like, oh, she thinks she better, or he thinks he better than us, and he's. And this is your family. This is your family. A me and said family. That's the name of the song that I was singing earlier. Family. OK, but these people are, are doing blood magic on you like they're going to try to give a person some 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 um, reasons why they should kill you, why they should sacrifice you. OK, she lies. She she stole. She betrayed our trust. She 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 has psychic abilities. We're scared. We're grieving. She could take things from us. She's overpowering, overpowering us. This is what they doing. Meantime, it's them. OK, they also are doing things to affect your dreams. All right. They're doing graveyard magic as well. Make sure you constantly cleansing your energy, okay? These people have a lot, a, a lot of mental illness, and, and they are abusing substances, a lot of them. If you go check and look for this matriarch chick right here with all this green around you, she's addicted to money. This queen of discs, this queen of pentacles, she likes money. Hmm. The, the nana and, and, and the queen of wands... There's somebody here with this Jezebel energy in that Queen of Wands. One of your family members, they cannot stop humping. They, they, they a big time hoe, okay? That's one of the ways you're going to tell who is involved with this. Big time hoe, okay? One of these people you may still have around you with this agent energy. And that's why Spirit is saying watch out because I feel like, like I said in the last read, if you don't talk to Auntie Nita, but you talk to Auntie Jessie, and Auntie Nita and Auntie Jessie is sisters, you have to throw the baby out with the bathwater, okay? You cannot tell Auntie Jessie your business just because, okay? These people are crafty. They could probably get your business out of a third party. You have to throw the baby out with the bathwater when you're dealing with these people, okay? Your life is at stake here. Anybody that deals with them, you need to feed with a long spoon and don't tell them your business, not where you live, not, not what you're about to do, not, um, you know, you change your job or whatever the case is. These people are in the sunken place. They're being manipulated by the devil and they're gang stalking you. And I told y'all this. They are gang stalking you. But imagine, you know. Them having to go to a practitioner or a lawyer or whatever the case is, going to, to, to some sort of person who can manipulate energy, right? And telling them that you did these minuscule things that I'm seeing that they said you did, right? Um, does that um, constitute for, for killing? You know what I mean with this blood magic? Does, is, is that what that... Is that punishment fit for the crime? Even so, okay, these people just wanted to have excuses to why they was doing the things that they were doing to you. Straight up lying, okay? And, and I don't feel, I don't feel, you know, that, I don't feel like it matters, okay? That practitioner must want the money, must want the, must want the, um, the, the benefits of the sacrifice as well. Because you can't come to me and tell me all these things that, you know what I'm saying, somebody's doing to you. And I say, all right, well, let's go kill them. You know what I mean? It, 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 that, that doesn't make sense. Okay, you're being called to have courage through this situation. You need to shine light on these people um, as far as being very aware and following your intuition about dealing with them. Because I feel like some of you guys still have these people in, in, in your... And your mental Rolodex or physically in your phone or, you know, you might still be talking to them. They got to go. You need to heal from this situation, okay? Seriously. 
Because these people are de detrimental to your health, okay? Self-sabotaging, okay? This has a lot to do with, like I say, you know, I feel like one of you guys may want to still be loved and accepted by these people, okay? With this inner child, having inner child issues, okay? Um, you may have been looking for something from these people that you never got as a child. So maybe when they come with you with this fake-ass apology or this fake-ass olive branch that we picked up they're going to do in the last three Maybe you're looking for that. You know what I mean? Oh, I've, I've, I've always wanted you to apologize or whatever the case is. Or, or telling them your business, you know? Finding camaraderie and, and talking to them, you know, because you need somebody to talk to. Maybe because you're isolated or whatever. That's self-sabotage. Talking to them and dealing with them, you're only going to harm yourself and make it easier for them to harm you. All right? Um, please get with the program, y'all. These people don't mean you no good. And I know it's hard. Yes, courage came out again. That's what I'm saying. I know it's hard. You have to have the strength. You have to have the strength. Heavy on Leo. Leo came out a lot in the last read, and it's coming out twice in this read. Okay? Yeah, definitely practicing self-love, <clears throat> self-care. Okay, if you got to write things down in a diary, write it down in a diary. These people don't mean you no good. Stay away from them and people that they are connected to as well. Yes, with this travel, it gives me the Six of Swords energy. Moving forward, yes, at the bottom of the deck, we have new beginnings. Moving forward from these people, having willpower to keep your mouth shut and stay away from them. Fuck them. <laughs> For real. I don't care what their relation is to you. You do not want to find yourself hurt and in no messed up situation. You know what I'm saying? Because of your heart. Something that's supposed to benefit you, you know? You don't want to do that. Give your heart to people who deserve it, like yourself. Start with yourself, with this self-love. Give your heart to people that deserve it. These people only want to harm you, okay? And this is sad because it, this, this may be three women in your family or... um. And they seem like elders, or this could just be, you know, your family. But I'm picking up strongly three elders and one half-dead matriarch. And I, and I say it respectfully, okay? <laughs> respectfully. But I feel her energy. I, I feel like this person, I, she, she give me the energy like she don't have a soul, okay? She's very zombie-like. And she's all about money. She don't care whether you did whether you did it or you didn't do it, okay? If she's going to benefit off of this blood magic, oh, yes. You on the chopping block, okay? She all about her coin. She on her way out anyway. But anyway, choices, okay? You have the choice whether to allow these people back in or not. I kept picking up that um that song, the Who's the Boss um theme song, where he says there's a path to take and a path to not take. The choice is up to you, my friend. Be careful, all right? And this is, I'm saying this with love, y'all. I'm saying this with love, but I got to be stern because it feels to me like your heart is still with these people or you're going back and forth. We've been seeing a lot of Two of Pentacles energy in the last three week, three reads where these people came up. And it's like, do I, do I not? You you don't. This is, this is life or death. They playing in blood, okay? They playing in blood. They drunk as hell, okay? High as hell. They in a sunken place. For, 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 for those of you who don't, who don't resonate with these people being high as hell, they high off retail, addicted to retail, okay? Addicted to material materialism. They're mentally ill, okay? These, I just heard, will stop at nothing. They are gang stalking, okay? This is not like a little bit of black magic, like a little black candle. No, this is, they are sent, they are playing in blood, Y'all know what comes with that. Stay away from these people, okay? Call your energy back to you with this fragment. Call your energy back to you every morning that you wake up and every night before you go to sleep. I call all my energy back to me. Don't allow these people to steal your energy. And remember, remember I said in that song, he says, and my energy, them want thief. My energy, they want a thief. Have strength throughout this situation, you guys. Okay? Somebody need to put lotion on. 
Somebody can need to put lotion on or drink water, something like that. I feel I'm yeah i'm feeling like some sort of dryness going on it could be <laughs> could be that old lady i don't know i'm feeling the energy of um drying up drying out make sure you're hydrating and moisturizing yourself let me get you guys some advice Mirror, who or what is triggering you? Who or what is triggering you? Yeah, I feel like um I feel like this situation is bothering you constantly. You probably can't get it all off your mind or something like that. These people may be involved in using mirror magic and maybe trying to send certain energies at you, okay, to try to make you upset, to aggravate you. <laughs> Divine orchestration. You have helpers in the subtle realms. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Wait, post, po postpone, pause, say no. If the, if somebody invited you over their house for Christmas or some shit, don't do it. Because I saw something about somebody trying to put something in somebody's drink, food, whatever the case is. All right? These people, and that's another thing too, who or what is triggering you? If you still have them around and you suspect them, like get from around them because they trigger you. I, I, I even said before, like, I'm not going to sit at no table with people I'm uncomfortable with. I don't care. Even if I got one good cousin out the bunch, I'll see you later on, on over here on the side. I'm not dealing with these people. You're not obligated to sit down. You ain't obligated to sit down at no table where you ain't really welcome at. Or you feel uncomfortable at, or you get backhanded compliments, or whatever the case is, or they're smiling in your face but talking shit about you behind your back, or or, or working with voodoo priests or, or the Obiaman or whoever behind your back to try to harm you. So if they triggering you, they don't need to be around you. For somebody, I feel a strong energy of you just wanting whoever this matriarch energy is, or these elders just to love you. And so you keep going back every olive, olive branch they extend, but it's all bullshit. It's always just to, to thief your energy, always, or set you up in some sort of way, or gaslight you, make you feel crazy, make you keep um, feeling like you're in a state of want, need, lack, and you need them, right? A lot of you guys have already rejected these people, okay? But the bottom line is don't accept a, not a near, not an offer from near one of them that you suspect, okay? Keep your boundaries and keep them at bay. Look at that. With this sexual arts, you guys could be having a lot of sexual dreams. I feel like these people messing around with some marine spirits or some shit like that or um, incubus, succubus energies and stuff. Child. You let these people go. A lot of you guys let them go, but they still lurking in the background, okay? <clears throat> you guys have help from above. Here goes this here goes this energy of temptation, right? This energy of she, you know, her going laying down and then she feeling extra sexual. These people are playing around with these marine spirits and negative entities and they sending them at you. And they go into a priest to be able to do it, okay? Stay away from these people. Don't accept any offers, okay? They don't mean you any good. Oh, they telling me one of these, one of these people, one of these people are um very stressed out about aging. Like she don't like her looks. She's not, she doesn't like her looks. They keep saying you cannot expect honesty from these people. You just can't. You, have, you need to be honest with yourself, okay? You need to be honest with yourself. 
how do I feel about these people? Are they triggering me? Do I does does my um subconscious tell me things about them? You know, stuff like that. Spirit wants you to give give your, your cares and your worries to the angels. Talk about it to them. Light a candle, okay? Yeah, because these people are very, very envious, all right? So light a candle, all right? And give your thanks to give your thanks to God. Give this situation to spirit. Go to spirit and talk about this situation. I bet you you see results, okay? Give give their names. Okay. Name them. All right, you guys, I hope that helped.